Hi guys, back again with another video. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create our own custom lighting profile with Aura Creator. So uh, I had a lot of issues with this. Uh, in the starting, it worked and after some updates and stuff, it stopped working. So uh, sometimes the laptop was not able to detect uh, the strip. Sometimes uh, Aura Creator was not able to detect the laptop. So a lot of issues were happening. So I had to actually do a complete uh, format actually a complete reset of the computer so uh, i made a video of that too so after this video i'll be posting that one also uh, so you will see how to actually reset the complete pc so uh, let's go back to this video now and so uh, we'll see how to actually use it so basically you just need one software which is called aura creator so uh, we'll just open that up so it's actually pretty easy so if you actually go into Armory Create, so let, let's go from the starting, let's see where uh, the options are. So here is where your device uh, will be detected. This is Aura Sync. So it shows my device G731GT. I go into Aura Effect and this is what you see. So I can choose any of these effects. So once we've finished the custom thing, then I will actually put it in the studio and then show you the effects there. Uh, so now I want my own custom one. So the custom ones are shown here, but right now there's nothing there because we haven't created any. So I'll create one, I'll click on Aura Creator. Now, if you click this, Aura Creator software will open up. Now that's only if you install it. So it's available on the Microsoft Store. Uh, so if you press this, it'll automatically take you there. Uh, so you don't need to search for it anywhere. So that's it. So this is what Aura Creator looks like. Let me just expand that. So this is my laptop. So now it shows me what all can I actually uh, put lights on or what all can I actually control with the uh, software. So it shows me one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Seven sides, seven uh, strips that I can actually control. So what I personally like is I like my keyboard to be completely white or one bright color. So it's not overpowering and it does not fluctuate when I'm typing. Uh, so all the other profiles, when the light fluctuates, the keyboard also fluctuates with it. So I don't like that. So I want to keep this as white. So, so basically how you start is you select whichever, uh, whichever strip you want. Now on top it says set as layer. You press that. Now a layer comes down over here. Now I choose what I want from here, what kind of color profile I want from here and then I put it over there. Now you even have music option here. So uh, that's actually pretty good. I like that the best. So uh, like when your music uh, plays according to the music, the light uh, fluctuates. So that's different. We won't be doing that right now. Uh, we will be using regular ones. So we'll be using static for the keyboard. So I'll choose static and uh take it and put it onto the layer one that's it so it's that simple now what i want to do is i want to change the color so on to the right hand side i will see color i'll press that and i'll go into white so i'll choose white here and i'll just move this around doesn't really matter so now it's white that's all that i wanted okay now it's white so one done now i want to change this one uh maybe i'll give it a rainbow rainbow thing so i'll choose that set as layer and choose rainbow and put it on top now so that i don't forget which one is which i'll choose the other side now and then set as layer and i'll put a rainbow on that too okay so now i have one two three four four more left so i will choose the sides set as layer and then I'll put maybe breathing okay I'll put breathing onto it that's it now I'll choose the other side set as layer and put breathing onto that now the front I want it to be a little flashy so I will choose the front one and set as layer and now I'll actually put Stopping and the other one over here set as layer stopping 
So that's it. Now, if I want, I can add more into this. Like if I want stopping and then breathing and all these things together, but it makes it a little complicated. It's all your wish, whatever you want. And for all of them, you can have different color profiles. So on the right hand side, so whatever I choose, you will see there's a different color profile which comes up over there. Uh, you have the speed setting and the color profile setting over there. So you can choose that by default. Uh, normally, most of these things are uh, going to choose a reddish uh, kind of theme. But if you want some other theme, you can choose from there or just put it on random. So that's it. That's how you create this. Now I'll just save. Now I'll have to put a name. So this is T E S T one test one save. That's it. Once this is done, all I have to do is uh, close this, go into Aura Creator. Now you'll see test one is available now. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, what did we create. So now you have all these profiles. So uh, the one that you created won't show up over there. That will create, uh, that will uh, show up over here. So this is test one. So once you create it over there and save it, it automatically shows here. Now I'll choose test one. And this is what we created. So now you see on the sides over here, these two sides are actually rainbow color. So they will keep changing according to the rainbow color. Uh, this entire thing has stop. So it will keep doing that fluctuating thing over there. And then uh, we have the white color, plain white over here. Now we can change it, customize it according to whatever we want. Now. Uh, now you know how to create it. Now let's see uh, the more advanced one. So the there is one which is called music. So we'll be looking at that and the other one. So basically this is static. So you can choose static and then choose any color. So I can change the color from here. So it's actually that advanced. So I can maybe choose blue. Let's choose blue. So it's instant. So as soon as I change it instantly, it changes there. So whatever I do here so I can see it live and decide on what color I like better maybe pink okay so and if you want it to be a little lighter here maybe a purplish hue to it or if I want it to be yellow so you get the idea so this is how you actually create it I actually like the red better or maybe go towards a little bit of orange -ish. okay too much okay that's what I want uh okay so that is static now then you have breathing so in all of them you can change the colors i can put it to random so random color breathing effect stop that you've already seen color cycle so all the colors will be cycled rainbow so in rainbow you can still choose the pattern what kind of pattern you want i'll choose this one no it's too light i'll choose a darker one okay there and if I want to change the speed, increase the speed or decrease the speed. Now, starry night. That looks nice too, but it's a little distracting when you're actually working. Okay, now let's look at music. So music option is the one which I like the most. Uh, so let's play some copyright free music here. Something new, okay, here. the idea so that's what music does so most of the time uh, I actually put off all the lights in the in the room and then I put the music option and I play my music on that so that really looks good then you have smart smart is basically temperature control light so you have green if it's uh, under 40 degrees and uh, till 60 40 to 60 it's yellow and then above that it will go red so then you know the temperature of your uh, CPU and uh, CPU usage also can be shown over here. So that's a good option in case you want to use this, but I don't use it. Then you have dark. So dark is actually dark. There's nothing there, no color, no nothing. So those are the options available. Now uh, you can put this switch on uh, so that uh, this 
setting will be uh, transferred to your in-game setting also if you're playing a game then these settings can be used over there too so that's basically what aura sync is all about uh, uh, um, aura creator and then aura, aura sync is all about so if you have any further questions uh, you can actually ask me everything is customizable uh, as you've seen uh, you can actually choose your colors choose the speed uh, choose the duration choose everything so i just showed you a sample of how uh, you can use it uh, now you can customize it according to your wish so that's basically it that's all that i had to say let's end this video with our custom setting so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye-bye.